Hello there, this is Penn for the Homebrew Vehicle Sandbox Boat Challenge. I have my entry for the boat challenge. I'll give you a 360 view of what it looks like here. All right. Let me show you up some stats right here. Bring those up. Now we call this the water skipper. Doesn't have too high of a top speed. Does have a decent range with the two fuel tanks. And I do use the two rockets for turning, as well as the prop for momentum. It's very basic, not too many parts. Alrighty, let's go ahead and get out of here, and we'll take it out in the water, and I'll see, show you how it handles. Alrighty. Alrighty. From a dead standstill. We can adjust our speed a little bit just by putting on the thrusters and turning. All right, let's go ahead and head out here. Go ahead and slalom these buoys. Go ahead and put it up about half speed. Even at half speed, we're still getting some good turning capabilities. Alright, I'm going to head out to open water and we'll open this thing up and get it up to the top speed. As you can see, it still uh, maintains a nice, even, smooth skim across the water. And if you engage both turning thrusters, it does give you an instant burst of speed. Alrighty. Now, you don't want to turn at the high speeds, as you will uh, end up getting airborne. But we can go ahead and just turn around here and head back to shore. This is mostly built with parts you either start the game with right away or can pretty much get within the first 10 minutes, so it's not too overpowered. Alrighty, and I hope you liked my entry into the Homebrew Vehicle Sandbox Boat Challenge, and I hope you all have a good one.